everybody. Welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen, and I'm going to show you how to make a cake into a taco. Now, if you guys need any tools or supplies, check the description below. I have a bunch of links that should be able to help you out. Now to make my taco. I started with a cake. I cut the top off to make it nice and flat, and I put it aside. And then I measured the center, put a little mark there, and I'm using a, a bread knife to cut it right down the middle. I only did one layer, but this way, when I stand them up like that, they're going to be kind of taco shaped. I'm using the top that I cut off just for a little bit of extra oomph underneath. You can see I have them just measuring out just to make it a little taller, a little thicker. I don't know. I just felt like I should do that for some reason. I guess you don't really need to, but I did. Um, uh, okay, we're just going to pretend like it's important. You have to have that bottom piece. Okay, guys, now I'm going to um, spread some icing on the one side and I'm going to sandwich it together so that the crummy side is going to be in the inside and the firmer part will be on the outside. So my cake will be a little stronger and watch this, watch it, dropped it, right? Like right on its face. Like <sighs> you guys see all these lovely cake videos where people are like, la la, and they pull these miracles out of, out of cake and thin air. Yeah, it doesn't happen in my kitchen. <laughs> this is real, okay? You'll tip your cake over on its face sometimes, and then it makes you want to just cry. Fortunately, this wasn't a big deal. My counter is clean. So keep going with it. Once you get it back together, you sandwich the two pieces together. You can see it sitting on its little bottom piece that is just so essential to the whole thing. I am just crumb coating, dirty icing, whatever you want to call it, the outside of the cake. I'm just using vanilla icing, going all around the sides, the front and the back where you can't even see it, and down to the bottom, and yeah, just put a nice thick layer on, and then I stuck it in the fridge. Now, while that was sitting up in the fridge, I took some green gum paste, not fondant, this is gum paste, and I decided to make my lettuce. I am making a taco with lettuce and cheese and tomatoes and meat because that's how I roll, I guess. <laughs> and so all I did is roll it out, as you can see, kind of really pretty thin, pull at it with your fingers, and then ruffle it up, crinkle it and ruffle it. I cut off the excess at the bottom, and then I flattened it, because I am going to attach it to the side of the cake in a moment, so I need a flat surface so it can really hang on and grip really tight. So that's why I'm doing that in the way that I am doing it. Okay, once you have enough of your pieces that you rolled and pinched and pulled and flattened the edges and ruffled up, get your cake back out, nice and chilled at this point, and I'm spreading some water on the flat part with a little brush that I got there, see, like that, and then just sticking it at the top, and I'm going all around the curve, I am putting ruffles on my cake, because it is a very festive cut and ruffly cake, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that's what I did. I put it around the edges. I thought it would look nice that way. And you don't need it to go all the way down the sides of the cake, just a little bit above where it's going to stick out and you'll be good. And make sure you have it sticking out a pretty good amount too. If anything, I kind of wish I could have gone back and had it stick out a little bit more because once I filled it in with the chocolate icing, it didn't stick out as far as I was hoping. So keep that in mind. Okay, back in the fridge now. I'm taking yellow, I used golden yellow color to color my fondant, this is fondant now, and this is going to be the taco shell, I'm going to wrap my cake up in it. I am rolling it out on an Atiko mat, it's a silicone mat, I don't know if you guys have mats at home or if you're considering one, I would consider this one, I'd recommend you consider it, I get nothing if you get one, I just have used many different things tried different brands and I like the silicone one it sticks to the counter you don't have to pre-grease it or powder it or anything stuff lifts off so anyway okay so I am using my fondant there I cut off the two edges so now I measured the length of the taco cake so it will fit perfectly you see that you see that and left the sides kind of alone and I'm going to trim it off what I was doing was I'm holding it up to the cake you see like that and then I'd lay it back down and then trim it off. You're going to see right here. See, I'm getting the size of it. I see where I need to trim it, trim it off, add some water to the fondant, which I didn't show you, but that's what I did. And then it will stick. So you want to kind of measure it out. I'm using a pizza cutter, by the way, to roll and cut because it works super well. And it's just the same as the stupid fondant cutters that they charge you like a million dollars for if you get the fancy ones. And it's way cheaper. So anyway... 
once it's stuck to the cake and it's a good size and everything, I went ahead and stuck it on my cake plate. Now I just took a ball of tin foil and crumpled it up, a little piece as you can see there, and I'm just pressing it into the fondant on the side of the cake just to kind of rough up the taco shell a little bit because taco shells aren't super smooth. They have some texture to them. And you can also kind of see too that the golden color when I mixed it in, I didn't go crazy and mix it thoroughly. I left it a little streaky and blotchy just to make it look a little more taco-y. Okay, now I'm taking the chocolate icing that I had mentioned earlier, and I am piping it all over where the white is showing. Um, this is supposed to be the taco meat, and I'm just filling it all in. It's just chocolate icing that I did end up adding a little brown and black food coloring to, to darken it up. But just fill it in, go along the bottom a little bit, in the front and the back there to make sure no white is showing. Put it back in the fridge. <laughs> All right, this is going to be my cheese. I just took some yellow gum paste, nice bright yellow, because you want you want it to be colorful, and roll it out pretty darn thin, and just cut a whole bunch of skinny little pieces, skinny little rectangles. Pick them all apart so that they're nice and loose. Take your cake back out of the fridge again, and sprinkle them on top. If your icing has set enough, uh, they might fall off the sides. They might not stick, so you can see what I'm doing. Just taking kind of clumps of it, shoving it into the icing a bit. Just press it in a little bit, and it will stick lovely without any issue. And yeah, just, you know, place them around till you're happy with it. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you what I did with another thing with the taco shell part. I'm mixing some brown with some water food coloring. And I have a little sponge tool that I use for a lot of decorating. I'm just kind of blotting, you can see here, and smearing the color around. And all those little roughs and wrinkles we made with the tinfoil earlier are catching it. And it's just giving the taco shell a little more texture and a little more color. It just helps make it look a little bit better. We're going to do the same thing here with the green. I added some dark green to the water, going over the lettuce with it again. Just, you know, gives it a little more depth, a little more character. And nobody's going to be like, oh my gosh, that's a real taco you have sitting there. But it still helps. It still looks good. So why not, right? And if you don't want to, then don't. <laughs> you know, it's fine. All right, this is the last step, guys. We're going to add some tomatoes to our taco. I took some red gum paste. Rolled it pretty thick, cut it into cubes as you can see, and place them helter-skelter all over your taco. Make sure it's nice and colorful and bright. And ba-bam, there you go. You've got a very pretty, colorful, festive, cute taco cake, right? No worries. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because I find that helpful. Check out my other videos. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.